Dave here at Russo's RV Center. Today on this September day, we're actually getting some smoke from the fires in California. Unbelievable. We get actually some haziness from that, but as you can see, our lot is still pretty bare. We have a lot of units on order. We actually have over 40 units on order, but in the meantime, we, uh, we only have a few in stock. So as you can see here, uh, today we're going to be talking about RV roof repairs and maintenance. And the biggest thing that I'd like to talk about today is what to look for, when to know it's time to reseal, and when to know it's time to um, recoat the roof itself. So the first thing that's that's really obvious, actually, when you look at the, the unit next to us. Now, this unit is over 14 years old, and I know for a fact that the roof has never been treated. You can tell. You can see that this, is, this used to be a white roof, a white rubber roof. And what's happened is the topmost layer has worn down because of wind, sun, just getting beaten down by weather for over a decade and that under layer is a is a black is a is a black color and that indicates that it is time to reseal this roof like this roof should have been resealed probably years ago uh two or three years ago at least the roof i'm on now isn't as bad it's it is starting though you can see it's not this isn't actually this is is mostly just the rubber breaking down this is not uh, just dirt There's some dirt, but it's actually mostly the rubber. It's the membrane that is just wearing out And actually it's pretty good. You can see good examples. You see the one on the um, The third one which is actually a, a customer's unit That is a much newer unit much healthier looking roof and then you have these older fifth wheels with roof roofs that have not been treated So what you'd have to do is you'd have to get the proper rubber roof coat. You'd want to coat that whole, whole roof. It might take a few gallons um, to, to get a roller and, and to coat that roof just to protect you from, uh, from leaks, cracks in the, in the rubber roof. All right, so the other thing, and this is something that's going to be a more common maintenance issue this is not gonna be like once every five to eight years like the roof, but maybe every uh, couple of years, the sealant around the vents and like around the skylights and AC, all the, all these parts of the roof. When the sealant starts to, starts to dry and crack, this actually, this should, this should have been resealed uh, a long time ago, but it's actually a good example of, of an extreme example of what happens as time and weather wears down, dries out, cracks these seals. Now, this unit sitting on a, on a lot, sitting in your, on your property, it might actually not leak uh, as it's sitting. The real danger is when you've had the unit sitting for a while you have these dry cracking seals and then you drive down the road and what happens is when you're driving down the road the unit is just moving around a lot whereas it wasn't before and now uh, because this isn't malleable because it, it doesn't um, <clears throat> because it has the cracks it's actually going to open up even more and I've heard of this happening many times over the years where a unit might not have leaked in, in the spot where it is, but then once it's towed home, maybe it's something that sat in someone's property for years, it just got sold, um, and then it wasn't treated, the roof wasn't taken care of, and then within a month or less, you have major, major uh, leak in the unit. So look at these are huge cracks. This is extreme, all right? This is if you just never treat the roof. So before before it gets to that point, I mean, this is a little better here. You can see this is actually 
pretty solid. There's just some cracks. There's actually, you know, it's just starting there. It's gonna dry out. Before it gets to that point, you really wanna reseal. And I think in the future, we're gonna do a video, a how-to video of resealing. But I just wanted to show you like what to look for <clears throat> on a roof, because I, I get this question all the time. I'm gonna give you a few more examples. Yeah, very clear. So once again, it just dries, it cracks. And then the real danger is when you drive it down the road for the first time in a, in a, in a long time, everything moves a little bit. It doesn't move a lot, but it moves just enough that it separates even more. And that's when you're really gonna have that water, that water damage. And then once again, you can see, this is what it looks like when the rubber membrane wears down. It is time to seal that roof. So next I wanna show you what a new healthy roof looks like, just as a point of comparison. Now we are on a brand new Rockwood. This was built only two months ago and you can see the difference in the roof. And you can see the seal, just how solid it is, clean. And the roof itself is just a solid white color. Try to move a little away from the intersection a little bit. It's such a busy intersection here. But you can see, oh, now I'm in the sun. Let's find another side, there we go. Just, just how just solid. Not only that, when you touch it, this has only been on there a few, few months. It just feels, it still has a little bit of give to it. It's not like breaking apart. It's not cracking. So that's really it. I mean, when you get up on the roof, it's also, it's good, to, it's really important to keep your roof clean so you can see your seals. Just a solid coat. No cracks. Nice, fresh, healthy lap sealant. All right, well, I hope uh, you found this helpful, what to look for on an RV roof. Happy roof, happy trailer is what I say. It's the most important thing is roof maintenance. If you guys have any questions, you can always reach out to us. Check us out at russosrv.com or come visit us in Lakeville, Mass. Have a great day, everyone.